An enlisted man has a long way to go in the United States Army. Robert W. Black enlisted from a farm in Pennsylvania and rose through the ranks from private to colonel. His life was spent on a long ranger walk through history and into Army lore. So when I enlisted in the, in the Army, I enlisted regular Army infantry on a sign for three years, uh, and um, I was sent off to uh, basic training at Fort Dix. I graduated outstanding student uh, in leadership course, uh, which meant I had a, a wonderful opportunity to go straight on to OCS. But uh, by the same token, they marched us up to the theater, and there were some of the sharpest guys I've ever seen from the 82nd Airborne, and they were recruiting people for the Airborne. So I signed up for that right away. Where every, where every morning the band would march through the area playing, we're all American and proud to be. I could still sing that song in, in, in my sleep. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're all American and proud to be. We are the soldiers of liberty. Some ride the gliders to the enemy. Others are sky paratroopers. We're all American and proud to be. <laughs> That's right. Very good. And so, where the hell are we? That, that was the classic question of every infantry soldier. Where are we? Yeah. So I asked him, of, of Sergeant Cox, I said, Sergeant Cox, where are we? He said, you're on the line. Uh, Tony below was a, was a, boy, he was the sharpest dresser among us. His uniform fit him like a glove. And, and uh, I, I, knew, I got to know Tony on the ship, going over very well. And, and he wanted to he wanted to open a clothing store when he got when he got out, got out of the service. But he was hit with machine gun fire right across the legs. All these helicopters and all I got, uh, we never saw that. Uh, the Rangers operated out beyond the, the lines, and anybody that got injured out out there, they had to be packed in. And I will always remember the packing in of Tony Velo because men would take turns carrying him, and I was walking behind, behind one of the men who had Tony on his back. And there was a, a trail, it was a, 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 a dirt trail, but there were leaves on the, on the trail, and I could still remember the blotches of blood as, as, uh, as we were going in. We got into our lines, and uh, they, uh, put Tony on the bed of a, of a three-quarter ton truck, and Bill Cox said, come on, boys, come on over and take a, lo a, a look at Tony. He's, last you'll see of him, he's dead. You know? And it was, uh, he was a good, good, a good friend. Colonel Black has also dedicated his life to preserving the stories of his fellow veterans. He has written several books, and he has also interviewed his fellow Rangers. Best. Uh, Recordings of, of activity were done by uh, Robert Black. Or kneeling position or something like they taught you, but not standing up, you know, and firing. Well, if it'll you, make you, you feel got more comfortable, John. There were 85 German machine guns covering that thing. So whether you were prone or standing up. <laughs> I know, but I mean, you, want, you present a pretty good target when you're standing <laughs> up, you know. Your job was to us suppress the fire that came out of that observation post. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had three guys with fire rifles at the slip, two guys were trying to sneak up and drop a hand grenade in there. So There was a position there where the damn shell that was fired at me hit my gun. And when I was going in at that time, I had my gun at port, carrying it in like this. And if that wouldn't have hit my gun, it would have hit me right square in the gut. Her name is Carolyn, actually Mary Carolyn, but she doesn't like the Mary part, so she's MC or Mary, Mary or Car Carolyn, and she's a lot of fun, and we have roamed the world together. Military officer, oral historian, author, a member of the Ranger Hall of Fame, and a protector of the legacy of the American soldier. Colonel Robert W. Black, an American hero, an American soldier, a Ranger born.